do one in the video one time that you don't see me. Like, right into the, right down by Green River. I stay long and there's still fucking heat that's coming. I don't like the heat that much. When you live in your car, you don't have air conditioning or van. No air conditioning means following the weather. So I will be going west towards the coast. I'm just outside of Portland right now, about an hour east of Portland. Ta-da! Okay. Hang in there with me while I walk down. A little steep, I don't think you can tell. <clears throat> I always love sleeping next to the river. Here we go. Wow, right guys? Now there's like a little S up here. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to make you see stuff. I listened to the comments. I know I went too fast on quite a few videos. But I'm getting out here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I had to bring you down here. I'm going to go back because my other video isn't even finished loading yet. So uh, one of the questions I've gotten was, um, does your topper and your rear carrier affect your gas mileage? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Not enough to give them up. I need that space. Uh, I have so little. I live in my van full time. I have no storage unit. So all I do have, so pretty. All I do have is my carrier and my rear carrier, and I put garbage and stuff back there, so. Uh, another was the size of my bed. Um, the legs on my bed are 12 inches. The mattress is 24 by 76 by 6. Um, it's a high-density foam I bought off of Amazon for, like, 70 bucks. And it works really well. Um, I did have to get a cooling mattress cover because it does really hold the heat. It really does. So that mattress cover is helping a lot. It has to be a cooling one. Uh, we'll see what else. Um, my mail, I use mail messages and more in Trump. Um, and then while I'm on the road, like, I lost my debit card, uh, and I was in Oregon, and I was on my way to my friend's house in Washington. So I just emailed them, and I said, hey, I lost my debit card. When it gets there, can you send it to this address, which was a friend's address? They're like, yeah, no problem. And so as soon as they got it, they emailed me, let me know it was on the way. And the same thing happened when I ordered a credit card, which I didn't activate, but they got it out to me, you know. So there's always a way you can have it sent to a mailbox or whatever. Um, I mean, mail post office, just general delivery if you don't know anyone in the area. But uh, being out here, I've made a ton of friends. These two people I didn't know before I was full time. <laughs> they're new friends, they're awesome friends. So uh, let's see what's another question. Now I should have written them down. So, um, how do I make my income? I'm disabled, I suffer from multiple illnesses that make it impossible for me to work. 
so um, I do I do some pet sitting for a little extra cash. It's not a lot, but it helps me with gas money. Gas money. Oh, well, let's see. When did I get my minivan? I got my minivan in October of 2020. And I got it through Home on Wheels Alliance. Um, they give away about eight of them a year. At this point, that can always change. It's going to go up, I'm sure. Uh, but <clears throat> I applied because I was in a... 2001 Chevy Blazer. I had dumped a bunch of money into it and the transmission was going out. How did I end up living in a vehicle full time? Um, like I said, I'm on disability. So my income is very low. Uh, I did have an apartment and it was awful. It was in a horrible neighborhood, but it was what I could afford. So after I paid my rent, all my bills, you know, gas, electric, water, everything. Uh, I had nothing left, just like nothing. You know, you get $15 in food stamps. That doesn't go very far at the grocery store. Oh, this is so pretty. So, um, I had been watching Bob Wells for years. If you don't know who Bob Wells is, uh, go to Chief RV Living on YouTube, or he has a website, ChiefRVLiving.com. RV, He's the one that started the home, on, him and Sue Ann, I'm sorry. Him and Sue Ann started the Home on Wheels Alliance charity, which is where I got my name. And I've been watching him for years, knowing that um, eventually I'm going to end up in a situation like this because I'm so outrageous. This is just too pretty. Wow, you guys. <laughs> wow. Uh, I probably won't be able to upload this tonight because I have very little bars. Um, I do have like two on T-Mobile and two on Verizon, but it's not enough to upload. I'll tell you that. Uh, other questions, let me see. Where am I from? <laughs> well, I was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Grew up mostly in the Chicago area, um, the Northeast, uh, Illinois area, Chicago and that. <laughs> Excuse me, my allergies are bad today. Uh, then I lived in Phoenix, or not Phoenix, Glendale, Arizona for quite a long time, which is Phoenix, basically. Uh, then I, uh, I spent a few years in, probably a total of six and a half years in Omaha, Nebraska. On two different times I lived there. And then I lived in Missouri for a couple years. Where is my home base? I don't have a home base. Uh, I have no messages anymore in Corinth, Nevada. And so that's where my Medicare is. So when I uh, need to see my doctor and stuff, that's where I go. Uh, and the reason for Nevada is it's located centrally between the Northwest and the Southwest. So wherever I am, if I need to get there, I can. Um, but my doctor has been super great. Um, we, the last appointment, I was in Oregon, and we did a video uh, conference or a video appointment, whatever you call it. And then uh, that's about how it works. Like I said, they forwarded me my mail. I do need to get a uh, driver's license, which you can't use a commercial address for. So I have a friend who said I could use her address. <coughs> so that's what I'm going to do, <coughs> which is still in Nevada. So it won't be so weird. I'm trying to see if I see anything swimming. I do not. 
the water moves really fast though, so. What do you think, huh? Is this the awesome, awesome? Like, hello. Yeah, Oregon's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, uh, spending a week in Portland was really great. <clears throat> there was a homeless encampment nearby and I felt really bad for the people there. <clears throat> the ones that, um, there was older folks that needed, they're obviously physically unable to do anything. I, I just don't understand. We just throw people out on the curve like that. But, uh, and, uh, I'm catching, I'm saying, but, uh, but, uh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so pretty, huh, oh, guys? Um, those are the questions I can think of right now. Uh, tonight, I said, I said this in my earlier video, which I'm still uploading. Uh, and today is Sunday, August something in 2021. <clears throat> I want to get up here, but I've got a little black. But as you can see, there's like waterfalls maybe tomorrow before I leave, I'll go up to that trailhead. It's just been super busy and I don't do people eating really great. But it's Sunday night, so it's thinning out. I would imagine early tomorrow morning, it'll be empty. Nice, right? And it's just beautiful. And I'll tell you what, it's not dry here. It rained all morning and afternoon. We finally stopped a little while ago. I really enjoyed that. I haven't had a rain day in quite a while. And uh, I just enjoyed my van again. I've been out of it for a week, so being in a house is great. Like, I colored and cut my hair. I soaked in the tub. I showered a lot. Um, the bed I used was super comfortable. And of course, cuddling that little puggy was super awesome. <laughs> He was just the sweetest little guy, you guys. I really love him. Like, I miss him already. Like, last time, like, I got no cuddle buddy up with him. Yeah, it really took me a week to really uh, love that. <laughs> I really either need a lot more pet sitting jobs. Or, uh, uh, maybe I'll do the pet sitting jobs. It makes me money instead of me spending money. <laughs> you know? So that's what I do, that's who I am. Well, I have three sons, I have grandkids. I mean, that's not all that I am, but kind of an outlier who I am right now in this moment. So anyways, I'm gonna let you go and leave you with this super fast running <laughs> river. It's amazing, beautiful, green, lush. Smells like heaven. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.